So I just wanted to briefly show you uh, just how we managed to get the car recharged down in France. And I've also got a little mention of some tires while we were down there. Okay, hi everyone. Um, just briefly, as you can see, I'm outside the ski lift and this uh, ski lift at Perrier car park in Leger has two free domestic 16 amp French uh, recharge sockets for our use gives you the best parking spot in the car park but I pulled in here there was a Model Y parked in front of me but I managed to get the other spot so I just want to show you very briefly how I managed to get a 16 amp charge out of a French domestic socket because French domestic sockets are rating at 16 amps so I'll just briefly show you the setup that I've used uh, the first thing I've got is a French Yuko 2 16 amp industrial. I've got a 16 amp industrial to a 32 amp industrial. And I'm running the 32 amp industrial into the Audi compact charge system. But it's really, really critical that that is left at 50% because otherwise it will charge at 32 amp and it will blow the fuses out um, on the resort. But as you can see, I'm successfully plugged in. I set up for, a six, for an 80% charge and I've managed to charge at just over three kilowatts, 16 amp supply. The car is ready. And just before I came down my last run, I clicked on the preheat. I've got nice warm seats and a nice, nice warm car. Thanks for watching. Not only were there the domestic charging sockets, which were fairly widely available in a lot of uh, the car parks, um, up at the Mont Cherry cable car and also up at the golf course, they did have some Tesla destination chargers that were set for any vehicle and they were running at 11 kilowatts. So uh, on a different day, when I just needed a little top up of the battery before the drive home, I did use the dedicated car charging point, which again, gives you the best car parking space by the chairlift. And uh, it worked out really well for us. A bit of a queue on the last day resort. I think it was full of Teslas. They're all topping up to go back to Holland. Lots of uh, Dutch registered Tesla Model 3s there. Um, but uh, nevertheless, fantastic facilities in the resort for getting a free recharge. And of course, using a dedicated car charging point is a bit safer than the setup I've used with the domestic socket. And once again, as I put on the, on the screen there, don't try that domestic setup in your accommodation. You've got no idea how good the wiring will be. And although French sockets are tend to be individually circuit breakers, all at 16 amps, um, there's always the possibility you could overheat the wiring in your accommodation so please please just do this at dedicated car charging points outside where there's a much lower risk okay we well, just wanted to mention uh tire choices on the e-tron uh, unfortunately for me my leasing company which is tusker um who supplied the company car they don't give me a choice of uh winter tire or all season tire they insist when available on fitting the original tires as supplied with the vehicle. Uh, I'm on the 20 inch rims, I'm with Bridgestone and Lens uh, 001s. Uh, they are technically a summer tyre. Under French law at the moment, this winter you need to have a mud and snow mark tyre and from next winter onwards you need a three peak mountain snowflake rated tyre. If you don't have those, you're obliged to carry snow shops, socks or snow chains, uh, which I have got in the front of the car. What has surprised me is just how good these have been on the snow. And I believe the reason is that EV tires have a high silica content to give you the rolling resistance advantage for an electric car and also the wet braking uh, performance uh, for such a heavy car. All season cars, all season tires rather, um, also have a high silica content in the tire. So actually this tire hasn't hardened up like a classic summer tire and it's surprised me how well it's done in the snow driving around in Leger when we had a couple of snow days.